Eldade from Notre Dame, which starts the year number five, Dana, coming off the quarterfinals last year. And if you're Notre Dame, you are using 2021, that season, to motivate you. They flew under the radar. People did not give Notre Dame the respect that they, they deserved, and they are coming out wanting to be at the top of the conversation. They had seven losses. Those were to only three teams. On the other side of the ball, we've got Michigan. Again, only played in the Big Ten in the 2021 season. Now they get to play at a conference. I'm looking forward to watching them build off of that momentum. It is so good to have lacrosse back, and off we go from the Loftus Sports Center here on the campus of Notre Dame. And the first draw control to Michigan with Caitlin Mead, one of their top performers out of the midfield, Woo! and she starts the scoring right away. Have a day, Caitlin Mead. I mean, this is what Hannah Nielsen was talking to us earlier in the week. They want to win the draw. That's where she feels like they can have success from. And to take it all the way from the midfield line, she just goes hard to cage. There's a reason why she was team best 36 draw controls in 2020. And then she just hammers it, keeps it in her right hand. The foul on Michigan sets up an eight meter for Choma and Notre Dame pulls even. When I think of Casey Choma, I think that she makes her presence known very early in the game, and this is how you can see it. She's on the right side of the hash. I mean, that's a tough angle, but she gets in. She's got two defenders, Michigan, right and left of her, but it doesn't face her. She just goes hard to cage her. She held her goal line while Maddie Howe was weaving in and out of defenders. That's the poise that you need if you're going to shepherd this Michigan defense, and she does such a great job. Weissman, a second-year captain for the Wolverines, and it leads to a goal at the other end. Second for Caitlin Mead and Michigan. If, to me, a good team gets momentum from their goalkeeper, and this is what happens. It starts with the save, the quick clear. Caitlin Mead, again, almost coast to coast, just goes hard, and the Notre Dame defense, Notre Dame, they've got a new offensive coach, offensive coordinator, and Jenna Solly. So the, co uh, the teams, the players that we talked to were so receptive of that. This game is tied on a strong drive to Cade. And... This is just a hustle play. I mean, you're going to Cage. You switch hands to the left side. We are tied up. Out off the pipe. And Michigan's still with it. So the reset to 60. Kaylee Thompson gives it up for Caitlin Mead. She's got both goals for the Wolverines so far in this first quarter. You can see how far Notre Dame is pressuring out girl on ball. Mead's got a hat trick in the first quarter. A singeing start for Caitlin Mead in Michigan. I mean, that was a flamethrower. She crushed that. Sidearm, righty. This happened because of good ball movement by Michigan. They worked it around took their time, and then they finally get it inside. When you get it inside on an offensive team, excuse me, on the defense, it's really hard to stop. You saw she's elevated her team each and every year. They've got the lead, and they've got an eight meter, and they've got a two goal lead. That's Kaylee Thompson. I mean, that's taking advantage of what the official gives you. That was a three second call. That's a great shot. It's a great eight meter. They took a breath. They're going to settle it get in their offensive position. They're going to do an isolation. In the hands of Jackie Wolak, feeding a herd behind the back. Oh, what a gem. Let's go. That was nice. I thought they were setting up an isolation, and then Madison Ahern streaks across the crease. I didn't even see her shoot that. Behind the career high of four goals set a couple of seasons ago. And Michigan's got it in possession ahead by one. That's good defense on the crease. Double team by Notre Dame. Mm. Slick finish from Kaylee Dyer. 
that was nice. I mean, there's not much you can do about that if you're Bridget Dehan. And just a freshman, too, with a little Twizzler. What makes her so special? She plays on the opposite side as Caitlin Muir, and she was not afraid. Ball gets inside. No big deal. Let me just hit this Twizzler. Boom. Ball in the back of the net. Hannah Dorney lost it, and it's coming back with Michigan. That turnover hurts if you're Notre Dame. They can't get momentum. Michigan is doing a really good job. Oh, man. <laughs> Can't stop There's the, the connection. It's Mir. And from a turnover. I mean, they capitalized on that turnover. That's just a hustle play. And, and Hannah Nielsen was talking about it. Mir knows when to do her job and how to do her job. She easily could have taken that to Cage. But instead, she's a selfless player, so she's going to kick it to the freshman. I love the perimeter ball work for Michigan. They make it look easy, but it's really difficult when Notre Dame has sticks flying everywhere to be that poised. Second goal of the night for Kaylee Thompson, and Michigan leads by four. Again, very similar situation to how the other goals were scored. They're kicking it around the perimeter, then they get it inside, and that's just a great job by Kaylee Thompson. She's right in front of Bridget Dehan, but she takes one extra second. To Her collegiate record. Amir 85 and 3, and the two Tawartons you mentioned in her junior and senior seasons. And Michigan adds on Aaron Garvey. Not only does Aaron Garvey dominate on the draw, she's awesome on the circle, but that right there is how you attack the middle of the eight meter. Right to left, just goes straight down the alley. Notre Dame is being given these gifts. They were given a gift of a woman up. Now they're given a gift of an eight meter with one player up. Ahern delivers. Notre Dame to four. Much needed goal for the Irish. They needed that one bad. Just good hustle. Quick step off the eight meter is usually is the difference between the ball going in the back of the net and missing the cage. And if you're Madison Ahern, you wanted that goal. You can see. Here's Erin Garvey. She fires! Whoa! That's just a beautiful shot in women's lacrosse. I mean, she's got four, count them, one, two, three, four Notre Dame players, and none of them are putting a body on her, and she just... ...around each other the last few years due to COVID, so you get the parents back around the players and the coaching staff, and. That was one of the takeaways from the Michigan parents about the length and the natural athleticism on this roster. Yes. I mean, I think across the board in women's across. Choma with a much needed goal for the Irish. I like this goal for Choma. This is where she's strong. When she gets her hands free and she gets a little bit of space to run, she's got speed. She gets that nice little rock step, keeps it in her left hand and just rips. And you saw what happened to Caitlin Mead. You see Choma, two goals from Madison Ahern, some of the usual suspects for Notre Dame. And Madison Moat with an early tally as well back in the first quarter. Burns doing a really nice job defensively on how Dorney Ooh. scores. The senior captain. This is a goal. Notre Dame. They had to have it. Nice little righty laser. Off stick side. Notre Dame catching up. Final four seconds and Caitlin Mead delivers again. Her fourth of the night. The senior came to play. This is great ball movement. Aaron Garvey kicks it inside, and she just lets it rip. And Notre Dame was not ready for that. They were not ready for that. That was a great, great assist by Caitlin. Tried to send one climbing up the ladder. Now Caroline Davis. Gives it off for Kaylee Thompson. Ten seconds left. Garvey. Yeah. 
Michigan set up that isolation. She's a lefty. She's got cool points already. But that shot, that's nice. Nice little juke. Keeps it in her left hand. And look at Bridget Dehan. She doesn't even really react besides going up with her stick. All night. Eyeballing what would be the highest ranked win in program history. There's a goal for the Irish. Not done yet, says Madison Moat with her second tonight. And we talked about how difficult it was for Notre Dame to get the ball inside, but that worked really well because Notre Dame was playing fast and they were playing quick. So when they did kick it inside, and number 20... Between rivals, a program the Wolverines have never beaten before tonight. And number That's 23, incredible. Michigan. They're going to get it done here. And this is what makes lacrosse so amazing. You didn't have to convince me, but for anyone else out there who hasn't maybe watched a game before, you know, this is special. This is how you can see firsthand how and why the game has grown because you have a program like Michigan. They get it done. Five years ago, this wouldn't have happened. The Wolverines do it. They take down number five Notre Dame in South Bend. Trying to play it cool on that Michigan sideline. It's a big one, Dana. <laughs> That's huge. Uh, I just, I think for Michigan, you know, this is a, this is probably a win that the girls on the team are going to remember forever. And this is what hard work looks like. This is what playing a complete game. And that's what Michigan did. They were lights out on defense and then they got it done offensively. And, and I think for me, the MVP is the keeper in cage, Ariel Weissman. She really put the bow on this game for them. Wolverines get it done. A reminder, stick with us all season for women's lacrosse on our ESPN networks. Next up, February 18th. Maryland, Virginia, ACC Network. For Dana Boyle, our producer Derek Coleman, our director Casey Frawley, our statistician.